did you miss too much in the installation or do you think you pretty much got it? No, I think we got most of it, you know, before I, I was, went down. Mm -hmm. We put in what we, were gonna, we knew what we were going to do. We had some small changes since then, but okay. nothing that couldn't be adjusted really fast. <coughs> um, I came in and met with coaches a little early before the meeting started today and got that covered and then just wasn't a big deal. We got on the field today. Is there a big adjustment at all defensively when, when you have a guy like Brandon who's suddenly not going to be there or is it just plug in another guy and keep going? Oh, uh, you know, it might have been like a couple years ago when we were lacking a lot of depth, but now that we got so many, especially front seven guys, it's really not making big. I mean, it's going to. Brandon Dedrick, a great football player, of course, you know, it's going to be. But we have a lot of guys that can fill in and play the spot and know what they're doing, so it's not like we're going to have to make huge adjustments on what we're going to be doing. We got plenty of guys that can step in that spot. Corey, it seems the last couple of years, just, just watching at practice, it seems like with guys that are out of practice, you pretty much got to be back by Wednesday to play on Saturday. I, I, that may not be a hard rule, but do you feel like it was important for you to get back today in order to play uh, this week? Yeah, I, uh, I didn't talk to any of the coaches, and none of them were forcing me to come back. Nobody mm -hmm. was saying, you need to be back by so-and-so. I, I felt like for me to be ready to go on Saturday that – I need to be back by Wednesday so that I could get at least two good days of work in. Because mm -hmm. um, if you only get a Thursday in, you know, by Thursday you're already through with pretty much installing everything, and it's kind of a lighter day, and you're really focusing on just the details. And so if you want to get be ready to go by Saturday or Wednesday, you got to be shooting for Wednesday. So I wanted to make sure that I was all healed up, got my, my fluids in, got rested up real well, and, and so I could get back today so I wouldn't be missing too much. When did he first come down with the flu? Um, well, I came in Sunday not feeling too good, but they didn't think it was the flu at first, and then uh, went and got tested on Monday, and they said uh, they said I had the flu. Who do you blame for giving it to you? Um, they, you know what? I, I don't know if there's particularly one person I can around here. It's been going around so much, um, especially on this campus. I mean, it's ridiculous how many people have caught it um, all over the university. Anything else, guys? Cool. Uh, Coach is talking about game day jitters. Have you ever gotten game day jitters? Um, you know, everybody everybody loves it's it's nothing bad. Everybody loves the first game jitters. Um, I guess it's more of just being sick and tired of seeing everybody the same people over and over again and finally get to see another opponent. Uh, it's not really nerves, it's just kind of more of excitement. Um, some of the younger guys might get jitters because it's their first collegiate game or something like that, but um, for us that have been here for a few years, it's kind of just ready to get out there and get going. Do you all ever give the younger guys any sort of advice when they're um, nervous? Yeah, you know, they'll learn real fast. Once they get their first lick in, those jitters will be long gone. Uh, that's how it usually is for everybody. You just get popped um, real good one time, and then they'll be ready to go. Um, either that happens for older guys, too. Once you get that good lick in, then those jitters will be gone, and you're ready to play football. Hey, Corey, just talking about the film, it's the challenge of you know, stopping this defense with a mobile quarterback that can throw and pass. Mm -hmm. they're, uh, yeah, they're definitely very versatile. Um, he's got a guy that can move really well with his feet and uh, can get can throw the ball when he needs to. And uh, we got to be conscious of that, uh, especially up front, um, not running by a quarterback and not, letting him, not giving him lanes where he can escape if he doesn't see anywhere that he can throw the ball. Um, it's just something we got to be conscious of all the time. When you play a opponent, ranked in the top 10 versus a Western Carolina or somebody. Mm -hmm. How does that affect the preparation? Of the uh, you know, it's you're sp you want to prepare for their every game the same way, but, you know, especially when you start off a, a season like this, this is a big moment. Um, it's a big um, starter for the season. Well, we got to be ready to go because we can really um, get the get the ball rolling with a win over a big team. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's huge for us. It was huge for us last year to get a good – Quality win against a, a good opponent, and uh, we're hopefully do the same thing this year. Corey, how is the boy been this week? Do you feel like he's? Uh, I haven't seen him. Today was my first day. Oh, yeah, so I haven't seen him. Okay, this preseason, I mean. How, how yeah, he's he, been how doing a good job. Into that role? Uh, yeah, yes, he's really stepped up and accepted the challenge of being a quarterback. Um, everybody looks to him um, to really lead this team, and he's done a great job. It's not overwhelming him. Um, it seems like a, a comfortable, uh, comfortable position for him to be in. And, uh, you know, we got all the respect in the world for him. He's worked hard to get in this position. And it looks, he looks ready to take on the challenge.